the next step is the mm, mechanical adjustment so I think to level uh, printing bed we first need to adjust uh, this uh, uh, x axis here so in order to do that I simply use the scale and by manually turning the, 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 the motors here and let's say adjusted it to the same um, same size um, the other thing I've done is to adjust the bed so the spring is like compressed half of its distance so we can adjust it up and down uh, and uh, the last one that I'm going to do is actually the end switch adjustment so I want to assure that the nozzle which is here won't touch uh, uh, bed when it's on the bottom position and won't scratch it actually so there is an end switch for that and the internal printer it has some adjustment uh, there is a uh, this guy here uh, with a spring and actually I am going to um, to adjust it that way so after the initial leveling I think there is a time for first power up so let's try to see that Okay, just set printer ready. You can see ambient temperature. Mm. The menu here actually has three buttons, so generally the bottom one they say it's a escape. And we can go up and down using these buttons. Okay, it's not very perfect, but it works. So, uh, there should be a way to manually operate. Let's see the position menu. I wouldn't use the home features at the moment. It's position fast. So perhaps we can start with X. It is safe to move left and right. Uh, so let's see. X position with the right we enter here okay so if I escape I think if this is kind of slow I go to X position fast enter and try what with the bottom one all right you can see it moves and then with the bottom one you can see it moves to the to the left okay let's try a, a bad positioning now Go to the fast option. So I can see it manually moves. Alright. And then we have the, the Z. Okay, so all seem to work. We now need to position the bed and stick the uh, special foil for printing. And which we need to do kind of carefully without any bubbles. 
So, okay, let's go to the next step. Uh, so we got our bed sticker uh, ready. Uh, you can basically control at the moment um, all access using manual way. So generally when you go up and down through the menu, you can see the uh, actual position. I think we are not yet based but, uh, or calibrated to zero, but uh, there is some indication. Um, we can see the temperatures of the extruder and the bed. And then the other one is just uh, some counters for how long we did print, how many filament we used. And this is general page, so all data are here. Um, for temperatures, uh, Z axis position probably, and some other, which I don't yet know already. When I enter too many, we go to position, and we can actually uh, issue. Uh, we sure now that the end switches are correctly adjusted, so we can make like home all uh, command. And then it positions all the axes. So we go down with the, the home position and we will start adjust that using the screws in the corners here. Uh, and for this we actually follow the manual from uh, manufacturer from the USB stick. Uh, so it basically introduces the paper sheet that you need to position it in each corner and adjust the table um, height at right um, place so there is always some space between the extruder head and the bed so let's try with that from uh, home position we want to assure that the bed is leveled correctly now. So we use the paper. And then we move a printer over the bed. And the actual should carefully gap there. And manually move now X. So it looks good. And then from uh, an option menu, I go to position Y axis. I also move it a little bit. And you see that it's not blocking the, the head. So, with we will try with the first print in our end. So generally, at the end, I will pull it a little bit up, and then like 10 millimeters, and then we we can press the home button and see how it will go in home position. So this is the home all. Oh. 